to Dan Tracy's basement, we've got another box from Derek the Border Geek. on there in the stands because he knows I hate those two teams. He's such a jerk. The border jerk. Hey everyone, welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel if you've never been here before. Today we have another box from Derek the Border Geek. Yeah, this one came as a bit of a surprise. Like when he mentioned he sent out a second box. It's like, what? Yeah, we actually just very yeah. recently did the Christmas package that he sent us. He even wrote on next to his name there, calm it down, Derek Jones, because yeah. that's what we told him. <laughs> what? Derek, oh, calm it calm, down, yeah, Jones. calm it down, calm it down, Jones. Apparently, down. Jason didn't notice your humor, Derek. But yeah, I don't know if this was like a, a quick fire response because we sent him a box so fast after he sent us a box, and I don't know. I thought his box was loaded that and was awesome. awesome. I, I don't, and I like when I send people stuff, I don't expect anything back either. I'm just doing it out of a kindness, right? Random act of kindness, but. They said a million times. Uh, Derek is one of our best buds. Uh, we, yeah, this community is so awesome. You know, we have so many friends that we've never met like in person. Yeah. But, but honestly, but I, some of our I can say friends. they're some of our best buds out there. And it's a shame that we don't live closer. We can all hang out and get drunk. Cause Derek even drinks my beer. He drinks Keats. He doesn't drink like. Bud Light or Coors Light or any of those light beers that taste like tap water. He drinks the heart of Nova Scotia, Alexander Keats. And that, he just has a place in my heart for this. Look, I even... Soulmates. I know. Look, I even switch. Even though it doesn't really matter because he loves Daredevil too, but I switched Daredevil over to Punisher for him just for this video. So, so anyway, <laughs> let's... Break out. I'm gonna break out the shredder and get into this while you tell everybody about Derek's channel. So. so definitely check out Derek's channel, The Border Geek, if you haven't already. Derek is such a great guy, and like we said, yeah. one of our best YouTube buddies. He, he shares a lot of fandoms with, with us, even though we yeah. often tease him that he has like three fandoms. Yeah, we pick on him a lot, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to torment him enough to get him back into doing YouTube videos again, because he hasn't really been doing them uh, lately. But, we did uh, get him to open the box yeah, that we sent him. We did tor we did torment him enough to get him to open the box our box on camera. Even though we told him he didn't really have to, I just love to torment. Derek is so fun to torment. I call him. He's the, easy. He's like a fussy little geek. <laughs> so, all right. So very nicely. Look at it. That's oh, a good way to use all wrap. that bubble pack because I hate that bubble pack. So I think you mentioned that yeah. there wasn't going to be a note in this. Yeah. Okay. So throwing this away and. <laughs> I, uh, I forgot to get back to him. I, said, I just got this from Big Bad Toy Store. I forgot to tell him he didn't need to send this. But uh, that's still super awesome, though, uh, because I guess you guys all know how we feel about Pops lately and the Pop community and stuff like that, and we still like Pops, though. Yes. It's just the Pop community is so tiring right now. Um, I do think the uh, He-Man line that they just made out, the Masters of the Universe line, is very very well The He-Man line is so, awesome. And how much He-Man stuff do you find, really? Well, you so. do. It's Super 7 does a lot of yeah, He-Man and She-Ra stuff, and their stuff is really good quality. It's pricey, though, but it's really, really good quality. But I like, I even like the old toys that you find in, like, dollar bins at the flea market and stuff like that. They're great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's awesome, though. And I, I have a couple now. Arms, Pop, so I Jason uh, didn't actually yeah. say it. <laughs> I will find a good home Probably for the other one, because I think that one came in better condition. <laughs> so, even though I'm going to open it anyway. So, first thing on top. Oh, cool! <laughs> That's for me. I'm going to put this down here, okay, to get it out of the way. It's uh, a little Robocop. I love Robocop. That's awesome. So, Robocop. Yeah. Gotta be up there with some of Jason's favorite ones. Yeah, I love Robocop. I have it on Blu-ray. Uh, the original Robocop. Robocop 2 is awesome, too. Ro Robocop 3 is not so awesome, <laughs> but... Uh, 
you know, P- Peter Weller, he he is my Robocop. Oh, for so, sure, yeah. Um, but yeah, that is super cool. Okay, Does so, he have, like, some kind of an action? What's the switch on it, his It's. I think it's supposed to have an action, but I think it might be broken. <laughs> so, yes, so many of these old There's, toys are. Yeah, old But it's like, are. I'm not going to use the action. I'm going to display him on the shelf. That's cool and, how you uh, can take off his helmet. I was supposed to say, you can take off his helmet, it's got Peter Weller's face. Like I just said, Peter Weller is my Robocop. So, I like him better with the mask on, of course. Of course. But, all right, super cool. <laughs> I like cute. that. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, let me see. What is this? Oh, that's it for is... Missy. Oh, that's for Missy. We have a couple of Grocery Gang. Nice. We've uh, teased a couple of times um, that uh, Johnny K is the yeah. hyper geek. He likes these, too. I call them his Rotten Shopkins. <laughs> yeah, so Rotten Shopkins. <laughs> he so he likes the action figure guys. But Missy is getting into Grocery Gang, too, because she's... Um, She's big into like the Shopkins and oh, stuff yeah. like that, and Huge. that's that's that they're like rotten Shopkins. Yeah, they're so, like monster Shopkins. Cool. Okay, so this says Butch. Butch. So these are from Butchavision, and these must be pins he got in it. a package. So <laughs> this is the little Butch in Powerpuff Girls mode. Yep. So this that is <laughs> Butch. I love this yeah. pin. That is Butch from Butchavision. If you don't know Butchavision, go check out Butchavision. Uh, yes. Butchavision.com, isn't it? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Butchavision.com. <laughs> He makes lots and lots of awesome stuff, and he does like repaints yeah. of toys and things. Cool pins and things. And so. I've, I have looked at this pin so often. He made himself as a Powerpuff yeah. character. That's so freaking cute. And this is his little uh, like Viewmaster logo type thing yeah, yeah. as a pin too. <laughs> so this, this pin's pretty small. That, that but, that's a very small. Yeah, one, su- still super cool though, and I like his backing card. It's a very nice backing card. So I'm in love with that. All right, that is the cutest thing. Thank you. Oh, the next thing's definitely for you. Ooh, yes. We're not going to open that right now because they take forever to get out. Yeah, I'm but. not going to open this on camera because they're real pain to get through all the plastic and everything. But I will put yeah. a picture somewhere in an overlay here. You know, we still never did that video on your entire dragon set. I know. Too. There's <laughs> so many. I know. We'll, we'll just show them off right quick someday. I but. have the overwhelming majority of the McFarlane dragons. This is one of the Clan 4 ones, the Sorcerer yeah. Dragon in Clan 4. I this can't believe one of the he, only ones I was missing. I can't believe he found one you didn't have because that is really, yeah. really hard. It is. <laughs> so. it is very rare to come across yeah. one that I don't have because I'm only missing now. Yeah. With this one, I'm only missing like four, four or five, maybe. Yeah. I'll have and, to count. You know, again. minus like deluxe versions and things yeah, like that. Obviously. I don't have all of the but, like but, special edition. Yeah, versions. almost every time we find one of those somewhere, like at a comic shop or or thing, it's usually well, number one, it's usually marked way up in price. Yeah. Some of them are really expensive. Some of them are cheap. Some of them are expensive, and it's usually almost always something you have. Yes, <laughs> so. I, I have so many of them right here. This guy is really cool. He's got the, the crystal ball in his The next there. thing, too, I'm not going to open this guy right yet either because this take a while, too, but I knew this was coming. But he found a good deal on this. So this is Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, these are the retro cloth figures. Um, I'm not usually 100% big on the retro yeah. cloth figures myself. Been uh, back and forth. Certain ones yeah. I really like. Certain, Certain ones. ones I like. Yeah, it, it all depends, too, on whether the clothes really fit them because some of them... Yeah. They look too bulky, uh, but I liked this one. Uh, he sh- sent me a picture, and he got a wicked price on it. So he asked me if I wanted it, and I said, "Sure, I'd love, I'd love to have it. I'd love to take that, pop it in with the horror movie collection." I it still, have, cool. I still haven't found a place for all your new pinheads though yet. And I just got her another pinhead for Christmas. So that I'm whole, <laughs> that whole room is getting an overhaul, as you guys might have seen if you watched our live stream in Basement Geeks. It's a mess right now. Yeah, you guys know the whole basement is basically yeah, is a mess. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna definitely get a place for that. So thank you very much, Derek. I'm so uh, I love. That's what we do, eh? We we find deals and we help each other out. So that's oh yeah. I'm not gonna get into that friendship stuff. <laughs> it's too gooey. Okay, and there's two things left in the box here. So oh. this is definitely something for you. Yeah, actually, I like the Batgirl too. Is- She's. She's one of my favorite bombshell designs. She, she looks really cool. It is the so. DC bombshells, and it is Batgirl window decals. Yep. So you got Batgirl all like, with the, the cape out and everything there, and then the little logo one with her name. Those are kind of neat. Yeah. I really like the I, Batgirl looks awesome. I like the, ba- the bombshell. I, I, you design. know what I really would love to have is of the actual bombshell statues, like the full-size statues, I'd love to have the Halloween Batgirl. Oh, and have her on display upstairs at Halloween time because she looks so weird. fantastic. She's almost like got like a vampire look, and she's all orange and black. But I really like the the Batgirl uh, design of the bombshells with she the, the bustier. Like, yeah. Is it called bustier uh, yeah, or something corset type corset. thing? Yeah, corset. Bustier. Works. I don't. I don't know stuff. 
up and I'm going corset. I call everything like a, a bra or, or underwear. So <laughs> I don't know. Like that's everything. I don't know terms, but she's got a cool design. She does. I really <laughs> like the uh, back row design. And the last thing is in a Midtown Comics bag. And let's see what this is. It feels hardcover, so I thought it'd be comics, but. And it's, oh, oh yeah. Oh cool. Okay, super super cool. It's Usagi. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Usagi Yojimbo, which Adriana just got an Usagi yeah. Yojimbo <laughs> for Christmas. And this is a hardcover collection of uh, the Turtles crossover comics with oh, Usagi. Oh, that's really cool. I have nothing Usagi. Uh, like Jason just said, Adriana got the figure for Christmas. Yeah. But other than that. Have nothing, Usagi. So and yet, you've really always cool. you've always shown immense interest in Usagi too. Um, he's a funny <laughs> he's a samurai, samurai bunny. And he goes. He's, he's, How cool is he's that? Friends the Ninja Turtles. Exactly. So, uh, but yeah, um, I've always liked him. I used to have the toys when I was the Ninja Turtle toys when I was a kid. But like I said all those toys are are gone. My Long old gone. my old toys as a kid. Uh, I always liked Usagi. Um, it was a Stan Sakai is his uh, creator and uh, man that's super cool that's awesome Derek thank you so much I I'm can't gonna, wait to get into that that's gonna be I'm awesome. gonna read that you're gonna read that and Adriana's gonna read that because Adriana is big into this stuff too so <laughs> that's wicked it's got kind of like funny cartoony art to it there yeah too, I like so. the art it's a little bit uh, little, it's, it's not I don't so, want to say childish but it's a little, no, little but bit more juvenile it, I guess it's a little more cartoony and yeah. not as extreme as some of the other uh, turtle comics that we're collecting. Yeah, so, a lot of the characters have like big round yeah. eyes. And that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. really cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> Alright, so thank you very much, Derek. Uh, second box was a complete surprise and let alone for it to be filled with this much stuff. It's so Totally awesome. But, what is your favorite item? Uh, my stuff. Oh, it's got to be the leather face. I so it, it's it's a big retro cloth NECA that he got. Oh, I knocked Robocop over. I'm always knocking stuff over. I'm 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 very casual with our collection, so I don't worry about dumb stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's got to be the leather face just because it's it's a big NECA retro cloth figure, and he got it at an awesome price, and uh, I'm happy to have it in the collection, but. I like everything. So everything's awesome. Got to go with my dragon. Of course. I love my dragon so much, and this is a really, really cool one with the sorcerer with the uh, crystal ball and everything. Can't wait to get that out of the this package. This is this is really cool. That's too. really cool. I like too. that too. I even like the pop. So <laughs> that's, that's this, pretty awesome. Yeah, you did so. awesome, Derek. This is well, this was an amazing box. Yeah. Guys, let us know what you thought of what Derek sent us. Do you have any of this stuff yourself? Have you read any Usagi comics? And remember to go to Derek's channel. And say, calm it down, Jones. <laughs> calm it down. Because shipping is just getting too expensive and Canada Post is just the worst. It sucks. It's it's expensive and it's slow. So <laughs> let us just, know yeah. what you thought in the comment section below. I guess I still got a couple things up upstairs for Derek too that I gotta throw in a box too. And uh, obviously I'm gonna let it build up a little bit more before I actually send it to him because I'm not sending him like it worth it. I send him like one figure, it's going to cost like the price of the like thirty dollar figure in order to get it to him. It's just boom. Now it's a sixty dollar figure. You got to build that stuff up. Make the box worth it. So. it Look, I just gave you a lecture on postage. There. That's how Canada Post works. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up. Share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement. Jason from TV on Twitter, and of course, as always, guys. Comment down, Jones. <laughs> Keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Oh, sorry, I mixed up. Bye.